Hello guys, welcome to Studio Tech and today I'm just going to show you or teach you how to upgrade your Samsung A5 and A3 2017 into a Nougat version. So yeah, unfortunately there is still no upgrade or update of the, um, you know, Nougat for this. So I'm just checking it for you. So that is still latest updates and um, I'm going to show you if these what's the version of the software I've got so this is only 6.0.1 so if any of you wants to try to have Android 7.0 or Nogat yes you can do it now um, I'm gonna this tutorial will show you how to do it and of course you need to have your laptop or computer with you and your mobile phone I'm gonna post the link down into the description below in um, just check it out there because you will need to get what kind I mean what is the exact model of your mobile phone so I got the um, this one here so I'm still have I'm still have the sticker at the back of the phone and so I've got SMA 320 FL so that is that one um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna search the actual model of that into this website so the website itself is actually called um sam mobile so sammobile.com where you can download all the firmware yeah so if you click the firmware there and then there you go so you can definitely put what kind of mobile phone you have and then the model exact model number and you have to find it so just find whatever your exact model is and there you go once you've done the actual um, model so I'm just gonna put mine so I've got an FL so FL so this is the one I need um, for my Galaxy A3 2017 and there you go so you can definitely choose what kind of what version are you gonna go for so you can actually find the S7, um, I mean you can find the actual um, 7.0 in there, um, if I'm gonna try it again, uh, bear with me, yes, um, 20, there you go, so there is, with the SMA 320F, um, but I've got the A320 FL. We're gonna put these either the United Arab Emirates or You can see there is like seven on there. So this is what you will need to do. Okay, so let's just wait for that to be downloaded because it will take quite a long time to download Especially if you don't have any account with them so account that you will need to pay every month But you don't have to just wait for everything to be downloaded and that's it okay so I'm gonna post the link of the um, Odin as well because that's the one you will need to use alright so just check this instruction and yeah and then just follow through alright so after you after you downloaded it, of course, you have it in here, so make sure you need to extract it. So extract all to, and then you can just browse to wherever you want to go. So I put that on the desktop so I can easily access that after it extract um, into that folder. And yeah, we'll go from there after that. Okay, so after you have downloaded all the files that you will need including the Odin um, just install that into your computer and that's it we will need to use that later and then now um, before you do anything else on your phone um, you have to make sure that the uh, the Android debugging is actually on so there will be no problem while you are installing things in or you know extra software or the operating system into your phone so as you can see we haven't got any developer options on that one so you will need to have that option underneath the about the device so you will see that um, to enable the developer option you need to go to about phone or about device that one and then you can see here um, the software 
software info and then you have to tap the seven I mean you have to tap the build number um, seven times until when you get back you will see the developer option so that's it once you press that and you will need to do the debugging um, that one so yeah so you will need so the debugging will be there so I need to connect that to the USB so it will be it will launch the USB debugging all right so I'm just gonna do that for you now so we have connected the actual mobile phone into the computer so what you need to do is make sure yeah go to the de developer option as well and make sure the OEM unlocked is on so you have to make sure that is on and also if you have the USB debugging on or blue mine is grayed out so you can you can definitely turn that on as well so you wouldn't have any problem and also you can also I mean you can definitely back up everything that you want um, before you're doing it because you know there might some problem occur like while you are doing this thing but make sure you backed up everything okay so it is really important that you will that you know what is the actual um, what you are doing because you are flashing the ROM into your I mean to your Galaxy mobile phones like this and uh, yeah it might cause some problem so be careful doing pretty much everything in here and also just follow all the instruction in that step alright so yeah let's go ahead um, everything is alright and we have the the OEM unlocking on and thing like that um, we have the files in there as well okay so what the next thing we need to do now is to turn off your mobile phone mobile phone completely turn it off completely that one okay and then we will put this mobile phone into a uh, download mode so download mode will have the like the Android logo there as well so by doing so you are allowing your mobile phone to have or you're allowing your laptop to have access to your mobile phone by installing the software so what you need to do is to press and hold the power that is a power button and the volume down and the home button at the same time one two three go so you need to have a little bit of patience doing this um, there you go so there is a warning a custom OS can cause critical problems so you will need to make sure you are going to do it like um, with confident all right so volume up to continue volume down to cancel so I'm gonna continue that so I am now in a downloading mode so that is a download mode okay so once you open up your Odin it will say here there is an added the last one you can see added there okay so what you need to do actually it's better for you to put the AP you got a BL and AP there so you will only need to put the AP so if you go to wherever you put the actual program so you have to choose the AP that one so in a going to load the AP in there just wait for it do not unplug your lap do not unplug your mobile phone from it okay so just put the AP don't mind everything, I mean don't mind all the, the files, you just need to have the AP. Okay. okay, so after it loaded there, it is now loaded, the AP is already loaded into the Odin. What you need to do, make sure, go to option in there and also you have to make sure the auto reboot and F reset time have take on in the box so you have to make sure that and that's it now if you're ready to do the start yes you can click the start and be confident of doing that okay so you have the start now so I am now starting it and 
yeah recovery system just wait for that to finish I uh, don't unplug anything um, just make sure everything is alright and yeah I'm just gonna wait for that and I'll show you what will happen alright okay so after the process actually you will see there is a green on the left top so that is that one so meaning it's pass so I didn't get any problem with it so your mobile phone will just gonna boot up put the password if you need it um, if you need to and then and then yeah just wait for your mobile phone to finish all right to so wait for, for your mobile phone to finish all the bits and pieces just don't worry about things it will be you'll be alright okay all right so we are all done um, as you can see we have passed there so make sure that is passed so meaning you didn't get any problem or anything like that no pill everything is successful so yeah so our mobile phone now is actually 7.0 so I have decided to reset my mobile phone as well um, just to you know after the installing so just to make sure everything will be fine so I have reset my mobile phone and that's it so it is now Android 7.0 so if we look down the bottom so you have the software information there and you have 7.0 that's it so that is really nice and um, yeah so I have now the 7.0 so if you have any problem about putting that onto your mobile phone or A3 or A5 um, yeah just give me a shot and I'll try to help you with that one so I have reset my mobile phone it is now 7.0 um, all new I just need to reinstall everything that I had and yeah and it will be fine okay so the only changes that I can see at the moment will be no home button anymore I say home button no menu button on there so it automatically do that thing so 7.0 and I'll show you if there are any more you know difference between the two um, I'll do some a video about that as well okay so make sure you just follow all the process and you wouldn't have any problem all right so that's it and if you have any question just give me a shout all the link will be on the description below if you wanna do that uh, as well so just gonna give you some you know um, gonna give you some tips on how you can do it uh, just follow all the instruction and that's it make sure you are putting the correct model as well in your mobile phone and you wouldn't have any problem okay so thank you for watching guys and see you again bye bye